Hey there, my name is Philip. This is my next game, the giant robot game, uh, which is the, its name. <laughs> and this is my second game after Knights of San Francisco. This one is for PC, Mac and Linux. And it is very early, as you can see. It's super early, but the game already has some kind of a shape. It is going to be a hybrid between a roguelike and a real-time strategy of sorts. And uh, as you can see, we have a very kind of limited but playable uh, early alpha, I guess. Not not even that. It's it's a, more of a prototype. And uh, I can I can show you how it looks like at this point uh, where I am this this giant robot that you can see here, and I can go around and slow time. So I'm now slowing time and shooting at this guy. Uh, you can also see that I can do things like I can repair myself, I can uh, list my systems and for example I can jettison my left leg or disable it. Um, I can... Uh, I, I think I showed at the beginning that I can build turrets, I can build other things as well, although that's not you know very much implemented right now. I'm going to get my this. All right, and yeah, I'm just going to clean this up. I can also hack my enemies, so I just hack this this tank's IFF system, which means that they will be confused about who they are with and who who are their friends and their foes. Uh, identify friend or foe is the IF is what IFF stands for, and as you can see, yeah, they, they, this guy is already helping me. Yep. And now, thank you for that, but that's it. So, with that, I hope that I gave you some idea of what it is to, um, right now, to play the very early prototype. Uh, what I wanted to talk about briefly is what the game is going towards and what you can look forward to, basically. So. Um, as I said, this is a real-time strategy and roguelike hybrid. I think the real-time strategy you can kind of get, like you're you're one person, but you can or one unit, but you can um, do things like constructing turrets and, and things like that. Um, you, but maybe it's more interesting to talk about uh, what are the roguelike elements of this game. To me, roguelikes are uh, defined by the fact that you have a bunch of verbs. So verbs in game development is when the things that you can do. So in a first-person shooter, that's things like running and, and shooting and maybe crouching or opening things or jumping, right? In a platformer, that would be just probably jumping and running and maybe using some things. Um, well, in many, I think, in many roguelikes, you have many more verbs, which makes it a little harder to to learn. Uh, they are not as easy for newcomers, but it makes it also more rewarding and more deep to, to, to play these games. And so that's where I'm going for, is, is like, I can hack my own turret, for example, here. And as you can see, uh, it will start shooting at the other turret and then this tank will destroy it, right? So that, that's the, the kind of things that I want to make possible in this game and that I think is to me roguelike. Of course roguelike is more, roguelike is also kind of RPG elements where you can build stuff, build your uh, character more, uh, which I'm hoping to do here as well and also kind of this kind of replayability and stuff like that so that's the tactics that's that's definitely going to be there as well hopefully um, now I should probably address the the graphics or <laughs> the the lack of graphics uh, so as you can probably see I am uh, well it's it's early right so this is not the final look of the game but the final look of the game is not going to be that different. Like, it's not going to be a pixelated, beautiful, colorful world or a ray-traced 
um, 3D Unreal Engine like you know thing. It's going to look kind of vectorish and kind of retro, and uh, the the main stylistic idea behind it is that it should look like a HUD as a heads-up display, right? A very functional, very um, yeah, well, well, simple way of representing the world. And this has uh, two reasons, basically, three reasons. One of them is thematic. You are this guy. You are literally that big, giant battle robot. And you're not a person sitting in the giant battle robot. You are the robot. And so to me, that makes sense to show you the world around you as a, as a very abstract kind of world. Second, it just makes things uh, much simpler um, and, and kind of more pure to play. And third, it is very moddable, right? So I want this game to be moddable. I want people to be able to make things on top of the game. And that is very much, very e much easier. It's much easier <laughs> to to do mods and to add to a game if you are able to uh, to make the art for the game in like almost anything because they are just vectors. What you see here are vectors. They will be probably something more than just rectangles and, and circles, but maybe not, maybe even not that. And then of course there is the um, there are these 3D models, but also something that many people will be able to, to do. And they don't need to, of course, make new models if they want to just mod the game and do something else. So, uh, yeah, so much easier to create content for, for this. I think that's basically it. I don't yet have a version of the game that would be really, you know, um, kind of game A. Like right now, if I want to have enemies, I have to ask for them, like now. Uh, with a special combo and now I can uh, you know play them so I need to build my own um, Build my own challenge but uh, Yeah, I mean I hopefully I will be pretty soon. I will be able to Let's hack these two no. uh, All right I'm sorry. <laughs> I just I, instead of talking, I should I should probably. Oh no, oh, that one was that. And now, are you friendly? Yeah, you're friendly. Okay. Uh, so that's the that's the the shape of the game right now. If you want to follow progress, please do. I have a newsletter. That's probably the the kind of safest way to, to follow progress and if you want to help uh, or if you want to just chat I also have a discord server I'm definitely going to add both of those at the bottom of this video so thanks for watching and see you next time